This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. What up, though? Welcome to NEMT Coaches Corner. You are rocking with your host. This is Dante. I want to share with you today, how can you start your NEMT business in Tennessee? What up, though? Memphis, what up, Knoxville, all the surrounding areas. Um, we're going to get right straight into the video because I just previously recorded this video and I did not hit the start button, which is kind of crazy. So I'm going to try to knock this out before it gets dark. So Tennessee, what up, though? How does it get started in Tennessee? First and first, first and foremost, we're gonna do our own due diligence. We're going to uh, do our research, market research on how to start in Tennessee. One of the things that you want to uh, want to know when getting started is how much the starting cost is. You know, how much is it gonna start this business? A lot of people want to know that question. Um, vehicle insurance. What type of vehicle insurance I'm, I'm gonna need? Um, licensing. Do I need any special licensing certifications? Okay, so those those are the things that you want to want to know. What what uh, am I going to primarily just use uh, ambulatory wheelchair? You know what I'm saying? What what are going to be on my demographics when I first start off? So do your own research when you first start off because whatever happens in Tennessee does not happen in Alabama or Louisiana. So things vary state to state. So do your research. Next, you want to determine the type of client that you want to service. Um, I'll give you an example, student transportation. You're only transporting people once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Student transportation is a very up and coming business. People are, dis you know, students, some, some students are disadvantaged, right? Where, you know what I'm saying, they may need private transportation because they can't get on the school bus. So you can be that person. You can hook up with uh, Department of Human and Health Services and, you know, to so become a transportation pro provider for the school district. So that's one way that you can do a uh, uh, type of client that you can be. You can do discharge. You know, people did be discharged from the emergency room before, before hospital stays. You know what I'm saying? You can be that go-to person that, you know, handles those type of appointments. You can also do pharmacy. You know what I'm saying? You can take uh, elderly people to, to the pharmacy. You can do senior assistant living. You know, these uh, seniors uh, are no longer driving at, at this point. You know what I'm saying? And they, they need transportation. So. Um, you can hook up with medical facilities and contract with them to transport, you know what I'm saying, their patients. Dialysis, you know what I'm saying? Dialysis is another way for you to, um, uh, those people, people go to a dialysis or the, you know, kidney center twice a week and it's a four hour appointment. So you can drop off those, you know, clients and then you can still do client to clients in between, you know, those other clients. You know what I'm talking about? Next. You'll want to obtain your employer identification number, your EIN number for short. Um, this is where you are, um, what we gonna say, uh, this is where you're gonna establish your business and this is how you're gonna pay your taxes. You need your EIN number, it's basically your social security number for your business to start paying your taxes and getting your bid, getting your money. So you gotta set, set you up a business checking account. So you go to irs.gov Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, to get that, you know, free EIN number. Don't don't let nobody talk you out of a couple dollars to charge you to do this. You know what I'm saying? Such as these companies that's on the internet. Do not do it. Just do it yourself. It takes about 10 minutes. Next, we want to set up our business entity. You, whether it's going to be a sole proprietorship, LLC, estate, um, trust, however you're going to set up your business entity. In the state of Tennessee, what I want you to do is I want you to go to www.tnbear.com dot t n dot gov and this is where you set up your sole proprietorship your dba your llc um s corp c corp whatever the case whatever however you're trying to set it up you can go there and the cost is it ranges from fifty dollars to like two hundred dollars so this is what you want to do next you want to determine the type of transportation that you're going to provide. Are you going to be ambulatory, which is you're driving a your personal vehicle, the vehicle that you have in your in your driveway at this moment, whether it's a Ford Taurus, whether it's a, a Volkswagen Passat, um, a Dodge Caravan, minivan, um, you know any type of Ford or vehicle besides you know a one of them big like SUV type trucks. So you can be you can be ambulatory wheelchair treacher or gurney so you're going to determine you know what i'm saying in the beginning like we said do your market research you got to determine whether what type of demand that you have in your community 
is your community, do you have a lot of senior assisted living facilities? Maybe you want to invest into a uh, passenger, like a 10 passenger van, you know what I'm saying? So determine what you need in the, in the beginning. Next, after we determine your uh, transportation mode that you're gonna use, we want to do the, our passenger assistance safety sensitivity training. This is a, it's PASS for short, PASS for short, right? And so you go to www.ctaa.org online or in it's virtual. So virtual means you're gonna be in, inside the classroom and it starts, the online course is $50, but it's limited. You learn, you know what I'm saying? You watch videos, watch modules, and you answer questions. But the uh, extended version, which is the uh, in-person version, is more intense where you learn uh, more things, such as uh, hands-on wheelchair securement, sensitive skills, lift operations, and passenger assistance, okay? And it costs $750 if you are not a member of ctaa.org. But I want you to head over to www.ctaa.org and you're gonna do your passenger assistance safety sensitivity training. You're gonna need this certification for, if you're gonna deal with Medicaid, uh, Medicare, uh, brokers, and some insurance companies. And it looks good for you, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you are, uh, you're, investing, you're investing your time and your um, knowledge into the, into the industry. So go to, pass, you know, get your pass, pass certification. Next after that, we wanna do our CPR certification. If you're traveling, you know, transporting people and you have uh, people in the vehicle, you can't be, you know, transporting people without having uh, the minimum amount of medical training. And so CPR certification is uh, something that's essential. You can do this online for like $37, $40, or you can do it in person. Me, the recommendation for me is to do it in person because you get to work on the, uh, I don't want to call them dummies, but you, you, you work on the, uh, the dials, you know what I'm talking about? So you do chest compressions and you do the mouth to mouth, you know what I'm saying? You do the homily remover, you know what I'm saying? You get to be able to do this, you know what I'm saying, hands on. Next after that, we wanna do uh, provided enrollment form application. If you're providing transportation in the state of Tennessee, right? They wanna know what type of vehicle that you have, what type of services that you offer, whether it's a uh, wheelchair um, or whether it's just, you know, um, transportation to and from. You know what I'm saying? This is what the, uh, the provider enrollment application is for. To let uh, the state of Tennessee know about hours of operation, the services that you provide, the type of vehicle that you have. And you go to www.tn.gov forward slash 10 care forward slash providers. Next, we wanna partner with brokers. Okay, we wanna partner with brokers because brokers are gonna be the one that's gonna get you your clients. Okay, and there's two brokers in the state of Tennessee that I came up with and you can partner with those and it's free. That's www.10carriers.com, 10carriers.com and www.verida, V-E-R-I-D-A.com. These uh, brokers are the ones that's going to directly connect you with your clients, okay? Next, we're gonna uh, have a website. You need, you need to have a uh, internet presence. People need to know where to come, what type of services you offer, how to contact you, um, how much you charge. And so having a website is imperative. So you can get a cheap website from like GoDaddy or Squarespace, or you can get more, uh, I would say more sophisticated with a uh, whole route. Whole route does a customized website for you. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, but I should be. You know what I'm talking about? So whole route, you know what I'm saying? Get, get at me, please. Whole route is one that, that um, you know, helps you with customizing your website. So they implement the, the this dispatching software, the pick up and drop off, you know what I'm saying? All that be integrated for you and it goes directly to your cell phone when it's time. Um, so yeah, get your uh, website, website. Then you wanna pay your application fee to the state. I, I didn't come across the, uh, the amount for the application fee, but you can visit www.tn.gov and uh, you know go through that website to find that. Next, you wanna do a criminal background check and there's certain things that you cannot do in this industry when, in Tennessee. And we're gonna go over that. So you can't be convicted of more than three moving violations within a three year period. You can't have one major vi violation without within the past three years. Such as, um, so you, had, you can't be convicted within the past seven years of driving under the influence of drugs, alcohol. You can't have any fraud, any sexual offenses, or use motor vehicle to commit any type of felony. 
and I believe there's a couple more. I just wanted to give you an example. This is the reason why I said do your own due diligence in the beginning. Okay. Next, we want to do our vehicle insurance. There's two different types of vehicle insurance that you're going to need: commercial auto insurance, and commercial. Uh, um, you need general liability insurance. So those two uh, that you're going to need is important. Last thing I want to say about that insurance is uh, there's no way around the price. The price is the price. Um, there's some some ways that you can, um, you know, minimize some of those um, um, monthly policy by installing, you know, cameras inside your, your vehicle because those give you because the insurance company want to make sure that the vehicles are insured and they everything everything is going to be documented. So just in case, you know, anything that happened or anything that occurs, you know, what I'm saying there's something some way that it, it can be pulled up. So having a having cameras installed is very 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 good for you. Um, so the vehicles have to be smoke free, including non smoking for the ten care members and and you. So the vehicle has to be smoke free. And companies such as Progressive, Pathway, uh, NEMT Insurance, those are some companies that you can use to um, get your uh, NEMT insurance. There's a uh, there's several things that I, I, I went over today. Um, if it did help you, um, why not you know, hit that notification button? You know, I appreciate everybody watching. And um, I just I just thank everybody. You know, just just chiming into the channel. We are at uh, uh, we're we're moving, uh, building the community, and it's, it's good to see that everybody's taking action and and. Uh, receiving the information so until the next video if i forgot anything and you needed ask me a question or two you know what i'm saying well, you can get a consultation our, our link will be in the description and yeah until the next one peace love and light to all of you i'll see you on the next one say hello